Hey folks, Colin Richards here. I'm Denver's Retirement Advisor. I'm thrilled to be bringing you another installment of the Lord and Richards Show, where we talk about how you can use methods to bulletproof your retirement against today's volatile economic times. I'd love to chat with you about that and discuss your specific questions today. Give us a call at 720-372-0400. Again, 720-372-0400. Again, this is Colin Richards, Denver's Retirement Advisor. And today we're going to be talking to you about how to turn volatility into opportunity. As a matter of fact, we're conducting regular workshops probably close by to you here in the Denver area, and I'd love to invite you. Just give us a call at that number again, and we'd be happy to get you on the list before it fills up. Right now, our next event is completely full. We added a third night, and we've got a waiting list of 46 people. So these are tremendously um, popular, and we'd love to meet you, get to know you, and talk to you about your retirement title of the event is Retirement and Social Security, and of course, that is a pivotal part, but not the whole thing, right? Social Security, vital to know when we're going to take that, but also vital to know how it fits into an overall retirement strategy. At Lord & Richards, we call that a financial independence roadmap, financial independence roadmap, and it is just what it sounds like. It is a roadmap to helping you retire financially independent. Uh, come on in and learn about our simple three-step financial independence process. And again, give us a call at that number, 720-372-0400. So today we're talking about the current volatile situation in markets. We're just seeing one day after another swings of 100, 200, 500, 1,000 points over the last several months. It's been tremendously frustrating for investors, especially when they try to figure out what's going on. And the reality is, just like all last year when the market was soaring and folks weren't entirely sure why this year as it uh, falters in the first quarter and and on into the next uh, we're not exactly sure why either right because there's some great things that happen the tax cuts and jobs act certainly helped uh, corporate hiring helped uh, boost some areas but then there's the trade war with china and then there's uh, the volatility in global politics and the constant standoff. So this is all creating one of the most predictable, unpredictable, challenging environments to try to invest in that I've seen in a long time. So today we're gonna to talk to you about how to turn all that volatility into opportunity. And we're gonna start on the volatility side. Let me start with this. Volatility is normal. Now I just told you it's a little abnormal, but it really is normal. We see this all the time. And if you'll think back, it hasn't been too long. A 10% move in the markets downward. We call that a correction, right? So the markets are correcting, they're letting off steam, whatever. We saw something like that here at the beginning of the year. It's just we haven't really seen a big recovery yet, but we have had that correction. By the way, bear in mind that the correction was off of really artificially inflated highs in the month of January. All we did was eat up what the year gave us. But when we see that market drop 20% or more, that's called a bear market, a bear market. You know, you could swing by Wall Street today and you'd see that wonderful bull out there. The Merrill Lynch uh, company uses the bull as its symbol to symbolize the strength of the market. We talk about bull markets as being positive markets. Well, we always have a bear to counteract the bull. Like the weather, it's seasonal. Every 13 months, over the last 113 years, on average, we've had a correction. 13 months. How long has it been since we had a correction? So I think we were long overdue for that one. But here's the startling statistic. We get a bear market every three and a half years on average. Whoa, when was the last time we got one of those? Well, we're talking back in 2008, 2009. So we are... 10 years, 10 years since the start of the last bear market. Crazy. Now they recover every time. That's the good news. The average correction recovery is about 109 days or about three months. And the average bear market lasts about nine months to get back to normal. But you see, sometimes it does take longer. 2008, 2009 was tremendously volatile and resulted in a substantial drop in the market. So what we're after in situations like that 
is the ability to prepare in advance for when the market does take a devastating dive. So what I want to make sure we're, we're doing today while we're talking about this volatility, yes, I'm saying it's normal to see volatility, corrections, bear markets, and that it's abnormal not to see a bear market for as long as we have, but it's also wise to be prepared for those because we can get lulled to sleep and not prepare in advance. And there's where we get a situation such as investors experienced from 2000 to 2013, when if you had invested in the S&P 500, watching your, your portfolio take a dive in 2000, recover by 2007, take another dive and recover by 2013, you were break even. We call it the lost decade, but really it's a lost 13 years. So we don't want to just take these bear markets in stride. Once they hit, we've got to let the strategies that we put it in place in advance to address them to work. But if you don't prepare in advance, what you're going to be on is a roller coaster in retirement that you can ill afford to bear. So let's make sure we're understanding normal, yeah, corrections, bear markets, normal to not prepare, absolutely not. Additionally, what isn't normal is, is this unprecedented time we've had without corrections. You know, 2017 was very unusual. Until, you know, the start of the year, we had had 404 consecutive days without more than a 3% decline. The last time that happened was in 1959. Do you think these markets need to blow off some steam, folks? Absolutely. So since March of 2009, we've had almost a 400% upside, counting the dividends. So yeah, we, we need to recognize that's not normal. Preparing, though, that's critical. We want to help you prepare so that you can prosper through both good times and bad. What does that look like? Well, at Lord & Richards, that's called our Financial Independence Roadmap. Coming into retirement or preparing for retirement or already being in retirement, you have got to have a strategy to deal in advance with vol volatility. What do I mean? Well, we conduct financial science with our clients' portfolios. When folks come in to visit us, we share with you here are the key issues that you're going to have to address with your portfolio if you want to use it to get retired. One of those is going to be how much downside risk can you really handle? And most folks wisely shift away from high risk mode as they get near retirement. That's smart. But what we don't realize is most of our portfolios are still in high risk mode from all those years of focusing on equities. So we see people out of balance. This can result in potential downsides of 30, 40, and even 50% if we were to repeat history. And when we show that to you, it's financial science. We're showing you actual historical returns on your portfolio. Would that be a shock to you? It should be. In addition, we're going to talk to you about other types of financial science to know whether or not you're prepared. If you say, yeah, that's what I need. I need to get prepared. I need to make sure I'm financially independent. At Lord & Richards, we've never sent anybody back to work after retiring. That's what I call bulletproof retirement, and we want to help you with that. So give us a call. Pick up the phone right now. Don't delay. 720-372-0400. This is Colin Richards. I'm Denver's Retirement Advisor, and I'm talking to you about how to turn volatility into opportunity. And it starts with getting a plan in place to deal with it. 720 372 Zero four hundred, And of course, check us out at lordandrichards.com where you can learn about our upcoming retirement and social security events. We'd love to have you. These are so popular. So what else do we learn from history about volatility, corrections, bear markets? Well, we need to not get emotional when it starts. Now, let me give you a caveat on that. If you're not properly prepared, you should be very emotionally picking up the phone and getting repair, prepared by giving us a call. But for those who have put a plan in place, our financial independence roadmap has a plan to bulletproof your retirement by managing risk so you won't experience those huge downsides, the same as those who are out there naked in the market, and by developing a plan to deal with your income regardless of markets. See, when folks visit with us about financial independence, they want to know, hey, will my portfolio do the job? Will it get me retired and let me stay retired? a lot of times we see the reality is no, or 
you're using too much of your portfolio to generate income. I met with someone recently who was using their entire portfolio to generate income using dividends with no concern for loss of principal during market downturns. That's just not going to work, folks. We ran the numbers. And if they reposition their portfolio using only a, a wise percentage of that for income and partitioning off other dollars to meet other critical needs in retirement, their likelihood of success was only 59%. Wow. Would you get on a plane if somebody was flying that plane, if the pilot got on and gave his usual spiel, hey folks, got beautiful skies, we're headed into Denver, and I've got good news, we've got a 59% chance of landing. <laughs> You'd be scrambling for the exit, wouldn't you? Well, that's how you should feel if you come in and get some financial science done on your portfolio and discover those are your odds. At Lord & Richards, we wanna get you to 100%. You say, that's not possible. Well, it absolutely is, and we can show you how. Using financial science, running a thousand different versions of your life, we can get you to 100%. And I guarantee you, you'll walk away with peace of mind. So the emotion, yeah, you don't wanna, once you've got that plan in place, you've gotta let the plan work. But what you don't wanna do is not get a plan in place, right? So if you got that plan, let the plan work. Make sure that you've got an advisor with a detailed plan, an income strategy that is bulletproof 100%, and don't put your money in high risk if you're preparing for retirement. Well, what else do we need to do? Well, we've got to get used to market volatility. It's here. It's going to stay for a while. You know, this year, it, the economy is really strong. You know, we got record low unemployment. We're seeing wage increases, some of them thanks to the tax cuts. GDP, gross domestic product, is expected to be around 3%. The global economy is improving. And a lot of those other tax law benefits are going to hit later this year. But here's what happens. A strong economy leads to changes. And changes means volatility. And markets don't always go higher just because the economy is booming. You remember at the start of the year how inflation fears after the jobs report created the threat of a long planned interest rate increase and it kicked off some of the recent volatility? Yeah. And then the next week, the market fall was attributed to bad earnings. It's like, guys, make up your mind, right? So this is a time to rebalance, get it right. You know, if you're nearing retirement, you shouldn't be an 80% stock, right? We follow the rule of 100 at Lord & Richards. That means take your age, slap a percentage symbol after it, and get that port of your portfolio into safer, conservative, income-oriented vehicles. You say, oh man, Colin, that stuff isn't producing. Well, I can show you how to safely earn a moderate return with vehicles that are bulletproof, vehicles that have the ability to go up, reflecting the rise in stock market, but do not ever go down, such as CD, certificates of deposit. You say, Colin, certificates of deposit, that's the worst paying thing ever. Did you know there's a vehicle that's been used by endowments, large institutions, the wealthy for years that's been largely unknown on the retirement planning horizon, but we use it at Lord & Richards. It's called a market link certificate of deposit. FDIC insured. So, you know, the strength of FDIC is the strength of the vehicle but market link to allow you to grow when the market goes up and be protected when it goes down. You say, I've never heard of that. That's okay. You know, just because we haven't heard of something doesn't mean it hasn't been around for a long time, since 1987. And you know who's been using it? Big money. But great news, these, these types of principal protected market link vehicles are available and can help reduce the risk in your portfolio. So I think it's time to get your portfolio stress tested and find out what is my risk? How low could I go in the next market and how do I avoid that? Well, give us a call. This is Colin Richards at Lord & Richards. We're talking today about how to turn volatility into opportunity. And our number is 720-372-0400. Again, 720-372-0400. And you can find out how to get a financial independence roadmap for you and your family to make sure you bulletproof your retirement against market swings, against bad planning, and for most folks, against no planning. So let's talk a little bit about what that looks like. Well, when folks sit down and they get, get a review, we call that a discovery. 
A discovery is an opportunity for you to sit down and talk about all these things I've mentioned today, whether it's volatility and your concern about risk. You know, I was meeting with a couple this week and he said, hey, Colin, back in our early days, we could handle, you know, the market swings. You know, we didn't have to worry so much if it went down 20 percent or 30 or 40. Obviously, we'd rather it not, but we had years to recover. But now that we're nearing retirement, it's absolutely critical we don't lose that much money. So, Colin, try to keep it low, would you? I say, absolutely. But then when we stress test their portfolio, they found we found out, oh, my goodness, if this couple were to go through another major downturn, they would lose as much as 49% of their money. Now, granted, they were getting dividends off of that, but, folks, that's your money. You worked how many years to accumulate that nest egg only to watch it disappear You say, well, it's not really lost until I actually cash it in. Hmm. So I guess all those gains, if they were paper losses, they were paper gains too, right? So you haven't actually gained anything. What you need to do is learn how to lock in your gains, never giving them back to the market again. On the part of your portfolio designed for income. That's what we mean by financial science. Learn how to bulletproof your retirement so that no matter what the winds of the market are, we can help you get it squared away using just the minimum required in your portfolio to create an income plan so that you never run out of money before you run out of life. That's critical. The problem I see in folks like these folks I met with is that they're using their whole portfolio and really having to keep all the money positioned for income. Well, the problem with that is you're wasting critical dollars that could be used for other things, such as the enjoyment of your life or dealing with huge expenses that come up unexpectedly. Can you think of anything that might come up unexpectedly? Well, sure. How about health costs? The average retiree is going to spend over a quarter million dollars, and that number is going up every year. Have you set aside that much? How would you deal with it? And I'm not talking about stuff that's insured. I'm, st- I'm talking about the stuff that you have to pay for out of your pocket. Whether it's long-term care, your deductibles, or all the rest, there's a ton of stuff because we're living longer. We need to be prepared better. Well, if you use your whole portfolio to generate income, doesn't that create a problem? Yeah, because when one of you gets sick, if you're a couple, you've got to pull out part of that portfolio to now go and pay for those costs. What happens to the income? it's going to go down. Oh no, that ain't the only way to do it, folks. What you do is you take the minimum part of your portfolio and you position it for bulletproof income. As best you can, safe, principal-protected strategies that generate income, again, safely generating income that you can outlive and that still have the opportunity for growth. You say, that's not possible. Can I have safety and growth on the same dollar at the same time? The answer is a resounding Yes, you absolutely can. And we do it all the time right here at Lord & Richards. I am privileged to lead a great team of investment advisors who are serving clients every day just like you. They come in and they say the same things you're going to say. Hey, Colin, how do I get the risk down but still have opportunity? How do I get income that, that I don't have to worry about ever running out of money before I run out of life? How do I take care of those unexpected but high costs of health um, healthcare in retirement and make sure that I'm not a statistic knowing that healthcare is one of the biggest reasons for bankruptcy in retirement? How do we do it? How do we do it? How do we do it? We get asked this all the time. And what I have the pleasure of telling you is we've led hundreds and hundreds of people safely to and through retirement. Some have since passed on into eternity and hopefully lived a life worthy of of the Lord in doing so and lived a life based on his principles. But in the process, we gave them every opportunity to prepare and plan economically to be financially independent. You say, that's what I'm looking for. I want to be financially independent. Well, folks, if you've saved money for retirement, you have that opportunity. This isn't really about budgeting, right? That's for the early years. We're talking about people who have prepared, but now you want to maximize every dollar to make sure you use it wisely, live the life that you can best lead, and have other dollars available for other needs and other wants. If that sounds great to you, give us a call, 720, write this down, 372 720 I'm Colin Richards, Denver's retirement advisor, and we're talking about how to bulletproof your portfolio 
by turning volatility into opportunity. Yes, volatility is here and it's going to be here to stay throughout your retirement. Whether that's 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years, you've got to deal with it. And I'll tell you what, the worst thing you could do as a retiree is take that same old portfolio you use to accumulate wealth in your working years and try to make that work in your retirement years. What's the big difference, folks? You're taking money out, right? So when the market goes down, if you haven't prepared in advance, you're doubling down on your losses. And yes, you're taking money out. You say, well, I'll ju I just won't take money out during those periods. Well, most folks I see have a lot of money in IRAs or 401ks as a percentage of your portfolio. That means you're going to be forced to take it out during periods of volatility once you hit 70 and a half. So sometimes we don't have a choice but to take money out. And that can really hurt when the market does its whole bear market thing. You say, can you be prepared? Absolutely. It all starts by putting into place a risk management plan through our financial independence roadmap process, building on that an income plan that you will never outlive, building on that a healthcare plan to make sure you or your spouse is never devastated by those unexpected costs. What happens if one of you gets sick and the other is left with very little in the portfolio because your healthcare costs took it away? Folks, that's not a desirable outcome. You husbands, you should be concerned about leaving your wife in that state. Plus, when you pass away, you give up one of your Social Security checks. And if you took a single life pension, you're going to lose that too. Let's be concerned about the people in our lives and show that concern by putting a plan in place. You know, I have a special needs child, and because I love her, I put a plan in place. If you're married, you ought to have a plan in place for the devastating cost of health care just to make sure your spouse isn't bankrupted paying your bills and making sure you can spend those precious years, perhaps if you're ill, enjoying one another, spending time together, just like my parents did near the end of life for my mom. They spent some of the best time together. It was beautiful to watch, and they didn't have the financial concerns that sometimes folks have. That's what we want for you. So an income plan to make sure you don't run out of money. You say, I, I don't know that that's possible. We'll show you the science. It's possible to get that number of prob probability of success to 100%, even if we ran a thousand different markets. But let's not uh, live with the portfolios that got us here, right? Because most of those portfolios aren't going to do it in retirement. So let's get a risk management plan to reduce risk, an income plan to to make sure you never run out of money and a health care plan to make sure you are prepared in advance for the devastating costs that come with chronic illness and then finally a tax management plan oh my goodness how do i how you how do i even get started uncle sam is in your will folks especially if most of your money or a large portion is in iras and 401ks one of the biggest mistakes we can make is to leave behind to our family these huge tax bills that come when we bequeath to them an IRA or 401k. You got it. When you pass that on to your family, they're going to take the tax hit. Most of them, to avoid it, if they're super smart and in the top 5% of beneficiaries out there, they'll take it over their lifespan. But wouldn't it be nice if they could take it and pay off a mortgage or something like that? Well, they, they're not going to be wise to do that unless they're willing to pay, man, 30, 40% taxes. How does that feel to know that at the end of life, the government is waiting to take that money that you work so hard? Let's disinherit Uncle Sam. Let's get him out of there. And let's put ourselves back on the right side of this by moving our money gradually over our lifetime from forever tax to never tax. You say, can I do that? Absolutely. And with the new Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, we have an opportunity like no other. Let's talk about that. We can help you develop a tax plan to take advantage of the new low tax brackets for most retirees. You say, that's what I need. Then give us a call. We'll talk to you about how to achieve financial independence. Put a bulletproof retirement in place where you'll never run out of income. Take the other dollars then that are freed up to use them, prepare for health care costs and to prepare for a legacy that's tax free for those that you love. Oh my goodness, so much to talk about. You need to pick up the phone. Give me a call, 720-372-0400. This is Colin Richards, Denver's Retirement Advisor. 
representing Lord and Richards and our team of, of advisors, we would love to talk right now. 720-372-0400 or check us out at lordandrichards.com.